I have to tell you. <laughs> wow. What a statement. Uh, first of all, there's like 1,600 ways to spell Qaddafi. I wish we would all agree on one. No mention of Muammar Qaddafi in that statement. None. Do you remember how many times he said, Mubarak must leave? No mention. Why? First statement in nine days. He was very clever the way he just said, well, and I, what I said last week. No, 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 he didn't say that. He issued a statement. This is the first time he personally has spoken out on this. First statement, nine days. Remember, he didn't do this in Iran either for 10 days, so at least he's consistent there. Also, you notice he said we're waiting for others. Not that way. He, we're coordinating with others. He said everybody else had issued the statement, and I'm issuing mine. Why? Do you even know what your country is anymore? Who are we? What are our values? What is happening? Gaddafi is on the ropes, and he's acting out in pure desperation now. He is facing strong opposition, and he's not going the way of Mubarak. He has vowed to die a martyr. He is dividing the tribes. He is releasing prisoners. That one is important to remember. He is releasing prisoners. Chaos. Libya is one of the, me uh, the region's major oil economies, and major ports and terminals are now closed amid the violence. Why is he doing all of this when there's a clear chance of zero for his success? Chaos, chaos, trying to create chaos. Who else would release prisoners? We talked about chaos and evil, and the role that uh, chaos plays with evil just a few weeks ago. There is chaos all around, around the globe, pockets of instability. And this is the one word that says it all. Evil, unrest, chaos, evil spreading around the globe. It is the coming insurrection. Okay, I clearly get that this guy is out of his mind crazy. He is also greedy and he is evil. And he is taking the approach, uh, really, quite honestly, that a lot of abusive spouses take. If I'm going down, everybody's going down. If I can't have you, no one will. That's what he's doing to his country. Now, some of the people contributing to the current chaos fit in to this crazy, abusive category. But there are, there are others that want the same thing, but look and act a little less nutty than Gaddafi. Before I show you this video, I want to give full disclosure. The video I'm about to show you comes from a crazy right-wing organization known for its wild conspiracy theories. I want to get that out right now. This is from the PBS Frontline documentary that aired last night on the protest in Egypt. Now remember, before I show you this, this is the protest that the media gushed over and turned their broadcasts into a New Year's Eve celebration. When this was happening, when Mubarak, I saw the Mubarak announcement happen live with the people in Egypt. I was seeing this scene, and I heard the Mubarak announcement that he was stepping down. And I noticed that a huge section of the crowd immediately fell to their knees and they prayed. I both simultaneously liked that because I thought, wow, I would do the same thing if I were there and I had been released from a dictator, I would pray. But it bothered me because this is, remember, this is just a group just like you. The media didn't notice it, but PBS did. Take a look what else they caught on tape. It becomes a standoff. But more protesters arrive. The police can't guard every access route. Then, everything stops for prayers. The police turn their backs, a gesture of respect. Okay, Egyptians are extraordinarily devout in prayer. Not a problem, unless you consider that many in Egypt believe in Sharia law and honor killings. Then it takes on a different disturbing note. It took PBS reporting on the Muslim Brotherhood and how they're hijacking a revolution for someone in the government to get it right and to even notice. My question to you is, how come, how come PBS 
comes up with this information, but our president and the administration, the intelligence community, doesn't. I don't know who my country is anymore. I don't know exactly what we even stand for. I don't know who the good guys are and the bad guys are. I don't know who our allies are. I thought I did. Who are our friends? Who are our allies? Is it Great Britain? We seem to trash them all the time. Is it Israel? You've got to be kidding me. Look at the way we're treating Israel. Who are our friends and who are our enemies? Are the, is it Iran? Because it, it took him 10 days to make a statement on Iran when you had a chance. Let's go back to talking about our president on TV, talking about Egypt, and how if people were just more like those youngsters in Egypt, well, the world would be a better place. This is the same country, think of this, the same country that Obama sold $2 billion worth of U.S. arms and shipped them to Egypt in 2009 alone.